Hey, what is going on everybody out there? This is Jake James Lugo. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a brand new episode of A Definitive Discussion Rebooted where I bring up phenomenal individuals from all over the place on the internet, YouTube, and a whole bunch of other places in the games industry and stuff. And we bring them on here to talk about a bunch of cool stuff, a lot of great fun conversations that give you guys a lot of food for thought. If you haven't already, I highly suggest you check out some of the other episodes I've had. I've had a lot of great guests on here, a lot of good stuff that we dived into. And of course, make sure you guys check out the Patreon page. I got a bunch of bonus episodes from those episodes that you you guys should check out a whole bunch of exclusive content just for the dollar level or higher there's a lot of great stuff but today i have a special guest i have a fun cool special guest i actually met in person while i was at e3 not too long ago holly wolf cosplayer playboy playmate twitch streamer she does a whole bunch of stuff holly what's good how you been? Hello, <laughs> I'm good. Thanks for having me. I have been fantastic. <laughs> That's awesome. Again, I appreciate you coming on the show. Obviously, you've been busy ever since I saw you at E3. You've been doing a lot of things, which has been cool. We met yes. in person at the PC Gamer Show, which is cool. Because yes. we, we were both doing things for uh, Ewin Racing, which is the, the chair company that we, a lot of us have been doing stuff with and checking out and stuff. I mean, how did you guys, you know, link up like that? Like, did they contact you? Did they reach out to you? Or you reach out to them? Oh, yeah. I, it was so. It was so long ago now. At least like three to four years um when they sent me my first chair and i believe yeah i honestly it was probably through emails uh they probably got my email from my instagram or facebook or something sent me an email and was like hey we would love to work with you and it just kind of went from there and it's been a wonderful partnership they're lovely and over the past two years they've um hired me on to come out with them for e3 so that is also fabulous before i would just go representing myself uh but it's really nice to work with a company it's kind of it's yeah. kind of nice bonus <laughs> different yeah and again we're gonna get into all that because like i mentioned before you do a lot i mean you're, yes you're a cosplayer you're a professional model you were a playboy playmate i know you told mm -hmm. me when we were at e3 i know you were like a playmate of the month or playmate of the year in a couple places i think something like yes that. yeah uh i've had several covers for a lot of the internationals like um Slovakia, uh, Philippines. I was Playmate of the Year for Czech Republic, I think in like 2014 or something like so that. A couple years ago, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's been a hot minute. The last thing I did with Playboy was actually for Playboy US. And I got uh, to film a gaming show called The Rabbit's Arcade. Um, I got to co-host with uh, Meg Turney. And it was overnight shoots, like, you know, 9 p.m. to like 4 a.m. And I got to shoot uh, some really cool episodes. One retro episode on N64, actually, which was wonderful. Nice. And uh, yes, yeah, so that was the last thing I've done. That was about a year ago. So I, I still kind of do stuff with Playboy. But I, I do a lot of my own things as well. Definitely. And I know you've also done shoots for other places. I know on your website you listed what was Maxim and I think a few other yes. spots on top of that, which mm -hmm. is pretty cool. That's like a whole separate other thing, which is dope. But even on top of that, <laughs> you also do a lot of Twitch streaming, which I think is pretty cool. I know yeah. you stream games. You have a YouTube channel. You're doing a lot of stuff out yeah. here. I mean, does the, a lot of the modeling stuff really – and modeling and cosplay, again, you can put them together and stuff, even though they're yes. separate things. Do they really cross over a lot with your gaming in different ways? Well, because I am essentially, I believe, like, I consider myself a gamer before anything else. Um, I've been playing video games since I was a kid. I used to watch my grandma play, like, Sonic the Hedgehog when I was, like, three, four years old. So it's it's kind of been with me forever. And when I got to working more so for myself and having more time, that's when I started really liking to, like, incorporate gaming into cosplay and modeling and and everything. It's just what I really love. So I feel like it just kind of bleeds into everything I do these days uh, because it is definitely my favorite thing to talk about. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's kind of everywhere for me, but it does, I wouldn't say it helps with modeling or cosplaying, but I just, I, I meld them all together because yeah. I want to. There's so. a lot of cross pollination. <laughs> I can imagine a lot of people have yeah. told me similar things over time. Now, speaking of games, before we get into that other stuff, because like you mentioned before, there, there was like, a, again, a whole bunch of viral stuff that happened recently that I want to talk about because I feel like there's sure. a bigger conversation there. But what are you playing right now as far as games? I mean, are you enjoying the current state of modern gaming? I mean, are you enjoying more retro stuff? Because a lot of your outfits and a lot of the stuff that you've done have been pretty popular, especially with some big series like Zelda. I know you're a big Zelda fan. Yes. We were talking mm -hmm. about E3. There's a lot of stuff. I mean, what are you up to now with that? 
Um, I just finished a cosplay for Monster Hunter, uh, which I'm going to be premiering soon. But when it comes to like gaming, I've been playing a lot of Octopath Traveler. I'm a huge like Square Enix Final Fantasy nice. person. And um, Octopath Traveler is an amazing game. And, and I guess everyone liked it so much, just like me, that they're me actually <laughs> making more. Yeah, they're making more, which I'm super excited about. I love that. Uh, I love that old school turn based RPG type 16 bit graphic style. It's just so nostalgic. And when they released that, I just, oh, my mind was blown. And the music, I had the soundtrack. I listened to it all the time, obsessed. So I'm, I'm playing that. I was playing Stardew Valley before. I used to be like an old school Harvest Moon type. So again, very into those type of games. Uh, yeah. And then what else have I been playing? Ooh, I just downloaded. Um, Cadence of Hyrule. Yeah, a lot, right, of, people, which a lot is, of people are playing that yeah. right now. Yeah, so I'm going to start streaming that this week. I haven't touched it yet. I downloaded it. I bought it. But I've been waiting to actually be able to sit down and play it on stream. Uh, yeah. That's pretty Just cool. Now, me and, you relate, <laughs> me and you relate because we both love music from Square Enix. I mean, obviously, Oof. you mentioned mm -hmm. Octopath Traveler. I mean, again, Final Fantasy. You know, a lot of their different games have beautiful music. I mean, for you and your Stunning. opinion, what is your favorite soundtrack from their catalog? Because for me, I usually <laughs> default to either Final Fantasy IV. I sometimes default to Final Fantasy X or Final Fantasy VIII. Like, it jumps around for me when I right. say what's the best. But which one is really the standout for you? Um, okay, so I probably resonate the most with 10. Um, like Xanarkind and so many themes within 10 are absolutely stunning. The, yeah. the end theme at the end where, where, um, Titus like disappears and, oh, my heart strings. Um, the orchestra within that is stunning. I used to play violin actually for years. Yeah. So yeah. So anything, um, with string instruments, heavy string instruments, I, I really like, um, Piano too. I'm a big fan of piano. Uh, but yeah, 10, 10 is definitely my baby. I would say I love seven as well. Like, you know, Sephiroth and, and all of those themes within seven are absolutely touching. Iconic. Um, iconic. Yeah. There's some really good ones in 15 too. I really like, um, like Noctis's themes and, and, and whatnot. There's some beautiful music in that as well. So I agree. I, yeah. I love the battle themes in there because to me, it reminds me of those Ooh. older games like 10, mm -hmm. because I mean, I wasn't a fan of 13 personally, even though I okay. love the soundtrack yep. of 13. I think the soundtrack of 13, it is beautiful. It's yeah. very underrated, underrated because of the gameplay of that game, but like 15 soundtrack. Yeah. And I really wish they were continuing with the DLC and stuff has beautiful music in there. Awesome music. Yeah. I, and, and this is strange. I always tell people about this. So 13, yeah, it was kind of like uh, a little bit of a hit or miss type situation. 13-2. Yeah. Have you played 13-2? Yeah, of course. I played 13-2 okay. and Lightning Returns. So, so I, I didn't get into Lightning Returns. I think I played like half an hour of it and I was like, eh, kind of over this. Yeah, me too. 13-2. <laughs> okay. 13-2, I actually really like. Really? Like. Yeah, yeah, I know. Weird, right? I'm sorry if that offends you in no, any way, I'm but good. I. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. But we're talking like, about really, music. Mm, we're like talking about music. I, I could, I'd be down with you because I think thirteen. There's a few music themes in there from like from yeah from like noel's noel's themes and stuff that i was just kind of like oh this is so sad. So I, there's a few in there that I feel are also very underrated, and again, it's because not a lot of people got into the game because thirteen kind of just put a sour taste in everyone's mouth. Why would they play thirteen too? It was just badly so. designed games, honestly. And, and yeah, again, like, that soundtrack for all <laughs> for all three of the Final Fantasy thirteen games. I think that the music is just very underrated. It, even Lightning yeah. Returns. And again, I didn't play a lot of that game, but I've listened to soundtracks, you know, and different mm. stuff on YouTube about it, you know, on mixes and stuff. And I feel like a lot of that also gets bleeded out into fifteen. And and I would even argue Final Fantasy fourteen, even though it's a little bit more of a traditional stuff with the MMO thing going on. Right. I still find like a lot of the soundtracks for Final Fantasy music. There's so much like effort and energy put into that that just oh, helps yeah. make those games like again even going back to the 16 bit and even the 8 bit games in that series i just feel like that's a lot of stuff that you could do like a whole special like hour two hours just on the music alone mm -hmm, definitely <laughs> which is super good so let me switch gears a little bit because i want to talk about your streaming because we sure we before because again you went a little viral not too long ago about uh, some stuff and like little... <laughs> literally not yesterday but like the night through the night yeah. into the day, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. It was pretty insane, and and there was a lot of different conversations going on about it because again, I've, yeah. seen, I've seen some of your content that's gaming related and non gaming related, of course. And there's a lot of different things that people like to comment on with social media. Like for those that don't know, okay, again for the people listening to this, are like, what the hell are they talking about? Kind of give me a yeah. little bit of a recap, you know, a short version of like what happened. 
Yeah. So I was, you know, I've been working really hard on my house. Okay. I bought a house last August and this is my first full summer. So I've been outside in my garden a lot, like for eight to 10 hours sometimes a day. And I, you know, haven't been streaming as much as I should be simply because I've been working so hard. And obviously you get more done when you're not streaming. But um, yeah, I decided that you know, I'll, I'll stream some gardening because I've had a lot of questions about certain things in my garden. People asking me about DIY videos, everything. I know how to like, you know, and, IRL stream. and yeah, and I all stream. Yeah. And I'm out in my garden and it's super fun. It's the summer. It's amazing. But, um, and it's so interesting that I have to, I have to say this, but when I stream IRL, like I have to give into really good thought about what I wear, because if I don't, People are going to hound me for it. And and I think that it's so wrong. And I think it's so wrong that in society, like I, as a girl, have to physically think about what I'm going to wear that day to, to, to lead the conversation in a certain direction. I can't just wear what I want. No, no, no. Heaven forbid. But anyways, I was wearing a t-shirt. I was wearing like a cute little holy crop top like fully covered shoulders covered everything because it was very sunny and i was, was wearing hot. little yeah it was hot but it was i was wearing much more revealing clothing when i garden when i don't stream okay because i want to get some sun <laughs> i'm chill. at home i want to get some sun i'm in my garden like you know i'm gonna wear a little tube top or a crop top but anyways i made the the decision to put on a fully covered shirt no cleavage shoulders covered everything but i was wearing shorts and as a girl, I don't wear shorts that are like basketball shorts. Yeah, you wear like, shorts. Like, so normally wear, shorter than guys. I wear shorts. Yeah. I wear shorts, all right? I wear women's shorts. And they weren't even that revealing. I have like, you know, booty shorts uh, <laughs> that I rock <laughs> all the time. phrase. <laughs> you know, that I rock all the time when I'm actually not streaming or I don't have to be more self-aware of what I'm wearing uh, to get hate on the internet. But I was still wearing shorts. And I was still working. And... um. I don't know if you've looked at my butt, but it is, it's there, you know, it's big, <laughs> yeah. it's there. I, 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 I like my butt. Um, I'm proud of it. And, you uh, be. yeah, thank you. And I, um, you know, every once in a while you might be able to see like the tiniest bit of booty or there's just a lot of thigh, you know, and I'm working on my garden. I'm slaving away. I'm working. It's super hot out. And so someone clipped it of me putting strawberry plants in my strawberry tower, which I made myself. Okay took me a long time to make this dang tower and it got clipped and within over within under 24 hours it was the most viewed IRL clip of the day so it was like it was at a quarter of a million views by the time I woke up I guess people like shorts a lot and, oh wow you know and it was it got posted on reddit it got posted on like twitch fails thought hub which is the stupidest website but it got yeah. posted everywhere so i woke up to my emails just being flooded with new followers and this whole conversation about how i'm not banned for this and you know this is provoke oh someone uh, uh they wrote an article on me about i saw that purposely wearing prov provocative so let provocative me ask you this i want to ask you this because this sure. is part of a larger conversation and as someone yes. that that has looked at various different corners of the gaming space when it comes to streaming content creation influencers etc why is this such a big deal where you have where like you said before you have to worry a little bit about what you wear and stuff because there's a million and one different things that get thrown about what you're doing as opposed to focusing exactly on what you're doing because granted you're wearing shorts and i'm pretty sure they look nice from the picture i saw it looked very nice for the record but but yeah, it's, it's, one of, shorts. it's one of those things where I, I look at it and I'm like, okay, why is this becoming a, a topic that's a big deal? Like, why is this a news topic? Yeah. A news topic being like, yeah. why is that a, like a big deal? Like to, to you, what is the real issue here? Uh, I don't, I, I don't understand why it's such a big deal, but the issue is, is constantly um, putting down and depicting women in a way that they are only sexual beings, you know, like, it goes back to this whole thought of, you know, women, girls that are online, that are streaming, that are doing things that are fit, that are thin, whatever it is, even the ones that aren't, you know, um, we are, we are only there craving attention. We're trying to take away money from other streamers. We which are, I don't understand. I don't, I never, which does not make there. any sense. Okay. Like if I were to release the amount of money I made on Twitch, which isn't, a large sum of money. Listen, I don't make a living off of Twitch. Okay? We're not balling. <laughs> it, 
no, we're not balling over here. Okay. I, I make a decent living, but listen, none of that comes from Twitch. Um, it would be lovely if it did, but I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, and I'm totally fine with that, but I don't know. It's this just weird conversation about constantly depicting women that we are only sexual beings, that we are lesser than our male counterparts. And I don't even know. Like, let, I don't know. Let me ask you this then, because I think there's also another side of this. And I granted, I think that's a huge conversation now that I think a lot of people are having the wrong way. Do you think mm -hmm. also with this type of stuff, whether it's you or any other streamers out there, that a lot of people try to look for things like this or similar stuff in order to kind of get into those types of discussions, to get into those types of arguments? Because you're over there just planting. Again, you look nice. It's a hot day. You're chilling out, planting stuff. Yeah, it's warm. Are, it's summer. And, and people are automatically <laughs> trying to look, say something like, oh, look, she's just over here just trying to get attention with her body just for views and for clicks and for donations and stuff do you think that people actively look for stuff like that as opposed to just looking and seeing things for what they actually are oh totally yes and and that you can tell right away because i streamed again yesterday and you know i had double the amount of viewers and i'm you know most certain that at least half of those are waiting for me to do something similar and try to clip it they're just waiting. They're waiting to try to get me taken down or have something else go viral and start this like, you know, discussion, hate train again about how I'm not banned for this and, and I'm seeking attention. So, oh yeah, people. And it, that's so funny to me because like, why are you wasting your time? Like watching some woman gardening if it's like not your thing like, like you, know? you know what you know what i find weird too is just like you said you mentioned the article that was written about you that's to me mm -hmm. is, the, is the more disturbing part is because people turn that into an article to a news piece like to me i see that and i see people whatever outrage or feeling a certain way on social media i'm like okay i don't think this is something you need to post about on like kotaku or polygon or, or mm -hmm. IGN and stuff like to me, i find that to be a little bit weird and stuff but i i see that more often now is like the people are trying to get caught up on the narrative of like oh there's this thing going on with women and gaming still going on now which in certain ways it is but like yeah really, how do you feel about that becoming a news story though like as opposed to just the reactions you're getting on the chat or on social media? right i think it's i mean i think it's so silly you know i think it's just it's not newsworthy not even close um so i do laugh when articles write things about me articles wrote things about me when i started dating my fiance you know playboy white listen white playboy playmate is dating that's cold an asian is an asian only dates asians like i've had articles about my preference in men before it's absurd so this isn't new to me i've had the strangest articles written about me but i do think it's silly i do think it's pe wasting people's time but you know it's fine for me it's great i you know gained over a thousand followers on twitch i gained several hundred on twitter my instagram everything it, it it's only good for me and i'm not doing anything crazy i'm literally gardening in short so if you're gonna get mad at me for this go for it don't you dare go to my instagram because honey oh i gonna saw see your instagram i'm like yo might... they got a problem with that like look at the yeah, instagram and twitter yeah, <laughs> but but people you know people say like oh well this is twitch it's for gaming and i go listen honey <laughs> It's not anymore. Yeah. You want to have that conversation with Twitch? You have that conversation with Twitch. Yes, it is still very heavily gaming, but they opened it up to these subsections and you either like it or you don't, but don't hate on the people that are using it for different sections. And another argument that I find so funny is the whole cam girl thing. Yeah. You know, like, uh, you should just be on my free cams or whatever site, you know? And I'm just like, honey, you really think girls are just gardening in shorts? on my free cam let me ask you this because i think this is also part of another discussion with that do you think that type of stuff will always plague you whether it's you or other streamers or other people that you know that your yeah. friends or the colleagues will that always be an issue no matter what you do on a place like twitch or anywhere else because i see that all the time and not even yeah. just with people that are models or people that are just look good in general just putting themselves on camera i mean i know the arguments and i get the arguments and the perspective when you see certain stuff that usually fits the things that they're talking about but why is it that th this is like being painted with a broad stroke amongst everybody not just again you could throw in people not just you know females or just models or whatever but just in a bunch of different people that are using the platform like yeah. why do you feel like that's always going to be an issue that's that that's never going to go away i feel like it is i feel like um we'll probably you know we can get steps in the right direction to fixing it but people are always going to have different views you know and with a platform as large as twitch and you know with 
how many people we have in the world now, like 8 billion people are going to have differing like opinions and people are ignorant. You know, I'm just going to say it. people, a lot of people are ignorant. A lot of people don't care to actually educate themselves. They see a pretty girl online and nope, we are, we are doing sexual favors on Instagram. We are uh, cam girls. We are sex workers. You know, it's just kind of like, oh, well, you're doing this. I know it because look at you wearing those shorts. It's so interesting, but um, I don't think it will change. I don't think it'll ever stop. It might get a little better, might get a little worse. I think we'll just kind of go through waves. There's only, you know, I can, I can talk to people. I can change people's minds. I am totally fine with having conversations, like nice, um, chill conversations about these things. I'm totally cool with that. Um, you can get, you know, where people go like, you know what? I've never looked at it that way. Cool. Thank you for talking to me. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's it is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. And, and there's only so much you can do and I'm going to keep doing what I do. And if people don't like it, that's totally fine. I always tell people, listen, you don't have to watch me, man. Like exactly. this is the internet. It's the internet. There's so much going on. You got so much to look at. And I think that's something too, that may be causing a problem is, is the amount of information that we are intaking constantly. Um, I don't think our brains are really supposed to handle it to a degree um it's like that movie lucy <laughs> if you ever seen that movie lucy with scarlet giants is like that intake of information that's like crazy she comes like this crazy being that just knows everything uh, okay uh I, ooh, I i think i know which movie you're talking it's about I haven't, movie. I haven't watched it but um but yeah i just i think we're still kind of transitioning into this this different generation of of what so much information so much access to what's happening in the rest of the world um and we just there's a lot. There's a lot for us to take in and handle, and you know. I got you. I, de yeah. I definitely feel where you're coming from with that. Now we're gonna talk a little bit more about like obviously some of your other stuff, you know, cosplay, and modeling, and the page mm -hmm. industry episode. But I want to end this portion of the segment, you know, like this. Do you feel like a lot of these types of things, you know, again, because everybody brings this up, and I feel like we should just address it. Does this come more from like either the male side of things or the female side of things, or is it a combination of both? When these types of conversations or these things that are stated on social media, whether on Twitch or elsewhere, you know, does that really come from one side or the other, or one gender or the other? Um, it, it definitely, com it does come from both. You know, I've, I've seen women drastically hate on other women, you know, for what they decide to wear, what they decide to do. Um, but I do feel like it, it can come a little bit more from the male side. Um, especially within the gaming community. I still think there is more men as opposed to females that do hate on women in the gaming space and just kind of feel that our boobs are taking away from their views literally on twitter i had some guy tell me yesterday that like you know oh my gosh these these whores with their you know scantily clad clothing taking all the money and here i am like literally projecting here i am trying to trying to keep five viewers and i was like buddy like if you're struggling to keep five viewers i'm not the one ruining your your little stream here you know yeah, right? like and i even said i'm like there's so much that you could do to you know, help yourself. Make sure you make sure you do stuff on other platforms. Twitch is terrible for discoverability. Like we all know that. You need to learn your social media before you just start ha right. hating on people that have boobs. That's not that's, that's not what's causing your issues here. But sure, you want to think that you're never gonna get anywhere. <laughs> just letting you know. But yeah, it's funny. I I still get that all the time. They're so angry, and then women too. Some women they get angry as well. They're like, ah, I wish I had if, if I showed that much cleavage i bet i'd have more viewers too i feel well, like they, in instances like that it's like well then why don't you if, that, if that's what well, you're then, thinking yeah, about <laughs> if, if, yeah if you want to do that do it's it why not what's deal. stopping you yeah exactly if you really want to get it honey and then sometimes you'll see that that may not be the case and True. all of a sudden you've changed who you are because you think it's going to help and it might not Definitely, you know, Again, so it's, it's a larger discussion. It, it's you. It's a lot more of a complex discussion that I feel like we'd be here for hours, just like definitely with, with like finding the whole root of it. Again, it's it's just again, there's so multifaceted stuff. But Holly, thank you so much for coming on to of the show, course. chatting with me. Like, where can everybody find you right now? You're on the socials. We were just talking about branding, so you're on the socials, right? All over yes. the place. Where are you at? Where can people <laughs> find you? 
So my Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, Facebook is all Holly T. Wolf, H-O-L-L-Y-T-W-O-L-F. Um, you can also just go to my website, hollywolf.ca. That's also a thing. Yeah, I'm pretty good with my marketing and branding. I've made a living out of it, basically. So yeah, Holly T. Wolf on everything. And uh, yeah, that's, that's about it, really. That's my socials. YouTube, Holly Wolf TV. They wouldn't let me put the T in the middle of my name. I was oh, very angry about that. that. That's a little weird. I'm not going <laughs> to lie, because especially for the name. I'm just saying. But yeah, I know. there'll be links to this in the description box below, guys. So you guys can go to all that stuff. Show her some love. Send her some owl hugs if you guys can. We, yeah. send, people, we send people owl hugs whenever they come on the show. Oh, that's cute. Show. So it's kind of cool. So a bunch of little owl emotes. They just show up randomly. He's like, where the hell are all these owls coming from? It's oh, that's so cute. Uh, but, but yeah, thank you, Holly, for joining me on the of show. Course. Guys, guys, please let me know if you guys enjoyed this episode. Comment down below in the comment section. Tell me if you guys enjoyed the entire discussion that we just had. And also suggestions of other people you guys want to see on the show. Me and Holly are going to talk a little bit more on the Patreon exclusive EX mode. We're going to talk about a whole bunch of other stuff. So definitely check it out. My Patreon is patreon.com slash jakejameslugo. For the dollar level or higher, you're not only going to get this bonus exclusive episode we're going to do, but also a whole bunch of other exclusives you guys should check out. But regardless though, we will talk to you guys again very soon. Peace out. And stay epic, everybody.